Hi, this is Steve Yates, and today I want to talk to you about auto tracing your line art to vector in the iPad. So let's get started. Hey, this is Steve Yates, and today I want to talk to you about vectorizing or auto tracing on your iPad. And I get a ton of use out of this uh, little help right here. And so let's go ahead and, and get on it. I'm going to show you a few examples. I'm gonna, first, I'm going to go to Amazeograph. Show you this one. This will be a quickie right here. So the very first thing from Amazeograph that I do is I go ahead and find a way to share it. There's the share button right there. I share it. And then from there, I hit... Uh, Adobe Capture. Now I've already earlier set up Adobe Capture in my share so it comes up uh, right up close. Now if you don't have it uh, that close you can always go look for it. If it's not there hit your more and then it'll probably be in there but uh, it's available at the App Store. It's free. I know there was a debate at one time about whether it was free or not. Um, it is absolutely free so go get that. I'll go ahead and hit the icon there and he immediately wants to post to the Adobe Capture program. So it pops up in here. I just hit the button right there, the clicker. It comes in and he immediately just vectorizes it. And I can clean it up even more. Now, if you want to hit that smooth button, um, in the case of a very detailed image, you're going to lose some of that detail, but you're going to have killer lines, really good lines, vinyl cutting lines. Anyway, we'll go ahead and hit save. And this will save it to your, your library in Adobe Capture. Now from there, you can put it wherever you want to put it. So if you want to open this thing up in another program, I use um, Affinity Designer. And so I hit SVG. I think PDF would work too, but in this case I use SVG. I send it right to Designer. I know some people use Vectornator and other programs. I use Designer. Um, and as you can see, this is uh, totally a vector piece of artwork here. Um, it comes out great. It's super clean. I'll zoom in so you can see it. There's going to be a little bit of node cleaning probably, maybe right in here. But other than that, it's killer. If you're using this for a background or something like that, like a transparent background or a, uh, when I say transparent, I mean like a 20% uh, tonal type of thing on a t-shirt maybe or something like that you won't really need to clean it up at all. Your, it's in back of an image, it's kind of hidden, and it's just an effect. So anyway, that's that one. That's a Mazio graph to Vector. I'll show you one from uh, Affinity Photo. I use this program constantly, all day long. It has all but replaced Photoshop for me. So anyway, I'll go ahead and do this VET right here. This VET is a image that I made line art with a black line uh, application for photo. So from here, I'll go ahead and hit the export button. It goes to the export screen and down here in the corner on the um, left hand corner, I hit the share button and do the same thing, Adobe Capture. It goes ahead and it does the same thing. It posts to Adobe Capture and you can see it came in. I'll go ahead and hit the vector button and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and hit the smooth. It's gonna take a little bit, but it's worth it to show you um, the difference. You can see it took some of the detail away, but it's going to be a lot easier to edit some of these lines and stuff like that. So I'll go ahead and hit save, and it's saved. You can see I've already been here once before. And the same thing. I'll hit these three dots, and I'll export it, SVG, and I'll send it to a designer. And the same thing will happen. It'll come in and uh, bring it right into Vector in Designer. You can see all these you know, little vector lines and stuff like that. And again, if there's any, still a question, there's your vector right there. Okay, so that's that, and then I've got one more to show you. Um, this is a program that a lot of people use, Procreate. I just did this quickie pen thing right here just to, to do the demo. And what I'm gonna do is um, share the image as a JPEG. And same thing, I'll go to Adobe Capture, post it. And you can see my little squiggly lines right here. And we'll hit the button again. And uh, in this case, we're not going to smooth it. Why not? And I'll go ahead and hit save. It'll save the, uh, the image right there. Hit the three dots. And uh, export that into SVG. And I'll copy it to Designer. And there you go. So from there, we just very, very quickly just uh, traced uh, three images. And we did it really, really quick. And these uh, are available for elements in your designs and stuff like that. 
Now, I will note one more thing. If you've ever gotten involved with this before, then you know things like this will be a problem, this opening right here. So you will want to make sure that in your images that they're all closed off uh, so you can actually have something to fill. Uh, if you ever trace these things out into color, then you'll know what I mean. It'll, it'll have these open-ended things. You're going to have to redraw all the lines in here to, if you want to color them. So that's something to think about. If you have any questions about that or anything else, please ask me in the comments below and I'll be happy to uh, answer any questions or uh, comments. Uh, if you have a different way of doing that, tell me about that too. Thanks so much for watching. Hey, if you found this video helpful, please like it and please subscribe and make sure that you hit that notification button. Thanks so much.